What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to this little tips and tricks video on how to use brushes in World Edit to help build roads and railways in your towns and cities. So let's get into it and I'll show you guys what to do and how I use them in my game. So brushes are really useful tools to use uh, with world edit they give you the ability to paint areas and also just build big large structures straight away so we're going to start off with the basic one that i like to use and that is the brush also the sphere and we're going to set it just to a block of one which is stone and that can also be a size of let's say three so now what has happened here is i've attached this brush to this tool if i right click now we'll get a sphere of stone in the shape of three so you can scale this up to, I believe, seven in the base game. Might be a bit too much. Now the max configuration is six. You can change that in your config files. So if you place that next to it, you can see, obviously, it becomes quite a lot larger. Now, spheres are really handy if you want to do a lot of landscaping quite quickly, but they are also quite annoying if you start destroying landscapes with them, especially if you do this command here, which turns your brush into a destroying brush and like that. And now we just made a massive hole in the world. So there are better ways to do that. Let me introduce you to the cylinder tool. So we're going to use the same brush again here and we're going to type in the command BR cylinder. So you can do the whole tabbing to get your commands in there. That's a really useful thing to do. Now the cylinder has a depth associated to it because it's just about using one layer of the ground. So we're going to select here for a cylinder of block type one. We're going to give it a size of four, but we're also going to give it a depth of two. And it has now created a cylinder of four by two on this brush. So we place it there and there we go. So we have it on the layer below and the layer above. Now this is also quite useful for when you want to do the whole removing of layers as it only removes one layer at a time. So if we set this to zero, zero being air and the natural one being just one slap, we can now remove one bit at a time without making huge holes in the ground. So that's a really useful way using brushes to help terraform stuff quite quickly. Now, the idea of this video was to help you guys understand how I do roads and railways, but this is the sort of starting point I like to just show off because these are really useful little tips. So let's get into showing you how I paint the roads and the railways. So there are two ways I like to make my roads. One way is to use a brush just to paint a layer of material onto the ground. So if I do this command here, so I'm going to attach it to this axe. This is a BR sphere again. Now I'm going to do a little bit of texturing to this one. So it's going to be stone. But it's also going to be andesite as well. So in order to do that, you do one number, which is stone here. So you can type stone. And then you do a comma, and then you do your second block ID. And that gives you a 50-50 split between uh, stone and andesite. Now, if I wanted this to be greater towards the stone, I can type in 60%, and then over the other side of the comma, I can type 40% for the andesite. And that now gives me a brush at size 2 because that's the default size I like to set it to if you don't put a number after the block IDs. And this now is, is what we're looking at. So what we want to do is in order to paint the ground rather than the actual surface there, we need to type in the command gmask. So that is slash gmask or slash slash gmask. And that allows you to type in what blocks you wish to globally mask your brush to. So here you can see we are looking mainly at grass. So that for me is block type number two. And with that, we can now just right click and hey presto, you've got yourself a painting tool. So you can run around painting as much as you want. If you look over there, you can see that's how I did all these roads along here in my tutorial series. Uh, but this is quite a nice way of doing it if you want semi-organic looking roads. Now, the other way of doing it is a little bit more complicated and it's if you actually hand build your roads. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you need to carry on using World Edit after doing brushes, but obviously you have a G mask attached still. So in order to disable the G mask, you need to just type in the command G mask again, nothing afterwards, press enter, that disables it. So you can now carry on using World Edit in your world without actually affecting you know, just the mask. So there is one more tool I wanna to show you that isn't technically a brush, but it can be used as a brush. And this is the replace tool. So if you type in slash repel and then space and then type in one afterwards, I always just choose one because it's then easier to change straight away. And that now binds to my stick here, a brushing tool. So what happens is everyone, every block I right click with it now turns to stone. If I want to change that block type, I just left click and now I've got a second 
different type on there and you right click again so the reason i chose this is because i sometimes actually hand build my roads if i want a certain angle to them so here we're going to grab out some blue wool with that i'm going to right click like that and we now have blue wool attached to this stick with this i'm going to go up and do a little bit of a diagonal like that and now we can also carry on and fill this out a few more so this is giving you a bit more of control over how many blocks you change uh, you can also stack it if you want to do it if you were doing it higher above the ground but with this you can now come in and type in on your tools so we had it on this iron sti uh, stick here g mask blue so blue being the command for the block id for blue wall so what that does is that now only affects the blue and obviously doesn't affect the grass around it that's really handy if you are designing hat roads by hand and you just want to get in there and change the colors now this obviously moves on as well to how i do railways so let's jump into that and i'll show you guys how i do railways okay so for the purposes of this video i have just gone for stacking a nice long track bed along here made out of blue wool in the later parts of this series i will show you guys how to use the convex tool and actually plan out nice curves for your railway track beds and then hand craft them so you get a nice sense of pride when you've actually built them and they look really nice and realistic so for this we're going to be using a, a tool to give you a nice level underneath here because obviously if you put any gravel or any sand or anything like that in here it's going to fall through from here to the ground so we need to put a level underneath this track bed in order to give you a bit more security and a bit more safety so we don't lose all that material through here what i'm going to do is type in the command br again i'm going to give it a sphere that sphere is going to be shape um sorry block type three which is dirt and it's going to be shape of five so that now gives us a sphere we can use to paint the underside of this. So in order to paint the underside of a block, you type in G mask, and then using the lower, lesser or greater than tool um, buttons, you can type in lesser than blue, and that now gives us a G mask to place stuff underneath here. So this is just a great way of filling in voids underneath a block once you've done this sort of bit of world editing. So along the top now, we can paint this blue into an actual track bed type. So I tend to use for my world of Wolhampton at the moment, a block type of this. So it's a BR sphere. Now just for ease, we're gonna type in all the command names. So it's a granite mixed on with brown concrete powder, uh, which is why we want to do the base level because the concrete powder will just fall straight through. Brown uh, mushroom block because I like the texture of it, and also some coarse dirt, just to give it a nice bit of a look of dirt on there. So that now sets this to, and we're gonna set it to size five. So we've now got a brush of that, which can be used on here. So we just need to change the G mask from under blue to actually blue, and we can now go along and paint the town by this lovely sort of orangey ready color. So that is really the basics on how I use world edit brushes in order to paint different textures onto the ground for roads and for railways so thank you guys for watching i'm going to do more of these in later weeks mainly on how to use convex tools and curves in order to make some realistic looking roads and railways so thank you all for watching and i will see you next time with another video on the series